Hey guys, Christian over at NFIG Car Stereo. Today we're in a 2012 uh, Ford F-150 and we're installing an aftermarket radio. So I figured I'd show you how to install our custom microphone that goes right up here in the factory location. All right guys, so this visible part over here is actually a piece of plastic that holds the microphone. Now, behind this piece of plastic is a little metal ring um, and that metal ring is actually uh, holds on to the headliner. So what you want to do is you want to stick a panel tool. This is an NFIG PPT-5. Uh, you want to stick this between the plastic and the metal, okay? So you're going to go in here, you're going to look, and then when you see it, you're going to put the pry on the outside, pushing it on the metal. You see the metal? So this is a very, very thin piece of metal, so you don't want to be rough with it. Now, this is actually the microphone inside of here. Uh, this piece of plastic holds the microphone, okay? So sometimes this is taped, so when you pull on it, this comes out nice and easy, but sometimes you gotta give a little bit of a tug, all right? Now, once you get that out, there is a locking tab here. You push that down and remove the microphone, okay? All right, guys, so the next part of this microphone installation is to remove uh, the side panel right next to the steering wheel. Um, this is, uh, requires two tools called your fingers just pull out through using the hole and grab it right here now the reason you need to pull this out is because your tweeters that are up here in the a pillar are connected right there I don't know if you can see that see this little connector see, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit let's do it's always dangerous what I mean by that is that the lights Zoom in and all right, so I didn't go as planned, so I had to cut and edit. Um, I like doing all my videos one smooth, uh, no cut because, like I say in all my videos, like when people always say, Oh, that sucked, I'm like, Bro, anyone can cut and edit and make themselves look perfect, you know, you gotta shoot a video like it happens in real life. So, anyway, this is the connector for the tweeter, okay? All you gotta do is squeeze this side makes a sound uh, push it in and it comes right out okay if you try to move the a pillar before removing this um, you might break the tweeter connector okay pretty heavy duty for a tweeter These American cars are insane all right guys so now that we disconnected the tweeter down below you can just pull out the a pillar so what you do here is just pull down the rubber all right to get it down like that then you stick your finger back here you put a little pull on this one. There you go. All right. Looks like there's the top one and there's a middle one over here. All right. And then just guide the connector just disconnected out. All right, guys. So here we have the factory microphone. Um, this is the one that came right out of this Ford F-150. It's the same housing as the Ford F-250. So what we're going to do here, just grab a little flathead screwdriver, put it down there, pry that out, and pretty much it come right out just like that. Okay. Now, quick story. We made these for the Ford F-250. Probably been selling about a year now, maybe more. Um, did a radio install video on the Ford F-150 before. But by the time I went to film the microphone install, I was so tired that it didn't come out right. So here we are. Now, you guys, you Ford F-150s, kept ordering the Mic FD-1. Now, the Mic FD-1 was made for the Ford F-250, F-250, so it used our six-foot cable. Now, I had a bunch of you guys tell me the cable's not long enough for your Ford F-250. When I asked your VIN number... You guys, uh, well, um, uh, it's really an F-150. I'm like, well, it's not made for the F-150. So now what we did, if you order either an FD-2 or an FD-1, we automatically send you the longer cable. So if you guys are watching this or you're an F-250 guy that bought my microphone, this is blame the F-150 guys. Because a bunch of them said, well, I'll see if it fits. And they weren't off. It does fit. It's just you needed a longer cable. So this is our microphone. All right. Um, this works with almost every radio 
Um, every once in a while, we'll get someone to install some weird Android radio. If you do install weird Android radio, um, when you get this, this will be covered with a piece of tape. You can actually just break your Android microphone. Uh, well, but let me back up. It works with a lot of Android radios, but there are some of them that use funky microphones. So you can just buy this and take the microphone out and use the Android radio. Easy way to test that. Plug it in behind the radio before you run the microphone and make sure everything works. So as you see, this is indented in here to fit the, fit the indents because those are actually what holds it inside the little metal ring. So you push that in there. Pressure fits in. There you go. Um, the one you get will be covered in tape. Um, let me go cover this in tape and I'll come back and I will show you how to run it. All right, guys, so this is how you're going to get it when you receive it. Um, I think in a picture on the website, we don't show the tape because it confuses people. If they see a little shiny mic, they're like, oh, it's a mic. But So, little, the, oh, if you're using this video to put your factory microphone in it with a microphone that came with your radio, um, this right here has like a little hole and, and the way it reflects the audio makes it sound better. If you decide you want to take out the factory microphone and put your Pioneer or Sony microphone in there, it's not going to sound as good as this one. Um, I've gotten a couple calls from people who say, I put my mic up there, it didn't sound that good as you said. I ask them for the order number and they say, well, I don't have an order number. I just use the one that came with my radio. I'm like, it's not what it's designed for. It's designed to grab sound from the cabin. So if you put it in the factory location, you're actually choking it up. All right, guys, now, all right, guys, now the best way to get the microphone from there to here is this is where the microphone hole is. All right, get yourself a little zip tie. Uh, this is our standard zip tie you can get anywhere. Now mark it so you know how deep you have to go. All right, now you see the airbag here? Don't be afraid of it. It's not gonna go off. So you wanna slide this under the airbag, not over it. All right, now, if you check your mark, should be about where the hole is. All right, now when it goes past, you're gonna stick your finger in here and you're gonna feel for it. Just felt it. All right, now the best way to do this is to grab a hook tool. Don't do what I do, especially, especially if you got them fat knuckles. I know some of you guys got those bare, got those bare mitts. See, this isn't smart. This isn't smart at all. There it goes. All right. So what you want to do, honestly, is grab a little hook tool, and maybe with a flashlight, you can actually look in there, and then you can actually see uh, the the thing going. And also, like I said, make sure it's above the airbag. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the microphone to it. All right. Um, Alternative, if, you, if you're having problems with that, there's two screws here. You can easily unscrew those. And at that point, this whole thing should drop. Let's do that just in case, hold on. All right, guys, so let's give this a shot. We got two Phillips head screws. Take one. It's actually stuck to the plastic, so we're good there. Hold on to this. That one has two screws. That makes sense. I don't usually do this, but some guy's gonna be at home mad because he doesn't have a zip tie. And he's gonna be mad. Oh, where'd he go? Caught it. Got two of them. Can't see that, but. inside of the light so I don't lose them. All right, so now this should, no, I take it back. So this windshield's been replaced? Yep, this windshield's been replaced. When a windshield gets replaced, they're usually sloppy. Um, so what they do is that the headliner actually gets stuck to the windshield. 
So you see how this is coming off? But you see how it's stuck. So I don't want to ruin the headliner trying to, I could actually, Jesus, I could actually see. Anyway, if you take those two down, you should be able to pull this down and make your life easier. In this case, we can't, but it's actually worked out. What I mean by that is, I have to show you the hard way. So now we are going to tape, we're gonna tape it like this, okay? So make sure that the microphone drags, because if you type, if you tie the microphone to the zip tie, I'll see if I can find another one. Believe it or not, I work on a lot of Audis. I probably work on 100 Audis for every one Ford F-150, which is the opposite of most shops. But. All right, so now we're gonna pull. Now, the head is thicker, obviously. So you wanna make sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere along the way. All right, light pulls. There you go. All right. And then we're gonna drag that all the way and make sure there's no knots. Oh, I forgot to put it back in. All right, guys. So here's a piece again. And here's the microphone now with tape. All right. There it goes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to slide it. Give it a little slack so that way you have room to work. It's gonna go right in, pressure fit. All right, and then just snap it in. So there you go. Now you have a mic for your aftermarket radio right in the factory location. And uh, not only does it look good, but it's also hidden, so it helps it avoid uh, feedback. Um, let's go finish the run. Let me put up his visor first. All right, guys, so now we're here. And I know a lot of you guys were cursing when I said go in front of the airbag. <laughs> so you never want this wire to go in front of the airbag because um, when the airbag goes off, this can actually whip you in the face, okay? The reason I want it in front of the airbag is because we're going to bring it over here, all right? And then we're going to bring it behind the airbag, okay? So what you do is grab a little duct tape. This is 3M duct tape. All right, and what you do is secure it back here as close as possible. All right, always don't forget that you have slack over by the microphone. All right, so, so you have to guide it two ways, out of the way of the airbag, and number two, out of the way of the clips that hold in the A-pillar. If that happens, just start with a new this is a part where you don't want to be cheap about tape because A, if you put it in front of here, when you're gonna put everything back in, it's gonna snap it. B, you don't wanna go in front of the airbag. All right, and then over here, this is where the second one goes. So we're gonna bring it out closer to the windshield. In case I am making a mistake, check the A pillar. I'm looking at it now, but double check it. Make sure yours isn't different. Make sure that you're not gonna hit something by putting it up here. See that big hole? I actually got scared. You know when you put your fingers in a hole and it doesn't belong and then all of a sudden can't get it out? <laughs> That's the feeling I just had. All right, oh, and before when I said these guys did a sloppy job replacing the windshield, doesn't mean that they're sloppy. Um, whenever you replace a windshield, um, your goal is for it to look right from the outside, I guess, not to make sure it doesn't get on the headliner. So it's a common practice. Well, I don't know if common practice is the word. If you guys uh, do windshields, let me know. Is it normal to get it on the windshield? Because I see it all the time. All right, now over here, we're gonna go behind the little piece of plastic that's back here. Um, there's a little plastic that sticks out the dash, go behind there, and then, let me figure out how I'm going to show you, actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put another 
piece of tape down here so it doesn't get caught up when you go shove in the A pillar. See? So like right next to where the plastic is, put another one. I know lighting's horrible, but you guys get the point. Oh, actually, I know what to do. Right down there. Make sure you get one all the way down there so when you go to push that in, it doesn't hit. All right, so now at this point, we have it run behind the airbag. All right, that's very important. I see it goes up top, behind the airbag, in between these two things, and then route it out this way. That holds that in place right through there. It's not going to hit there, it's not going to hit there. Now let's figure out how to show you the next step. All right guys, so now we're gonna show you how to run the mic from here to here, uh, to the radio cavity to its final destination. Now, um, check out the website. We also have parts to keep your factory USB and aux. So in this thing, we have inserts that plug into here. Um, of course, the mic you just saw, we have the factory GPS antenna adapter. Uh, we plan on doing radio installation products too. Uh, we also have radio installation video we did. Uh, check the end of the website and of the video. I'll link them all. Um, the radio installation products we may actually get away from that a little bit. Um, unfortunately, the way the market's going, everything's dirt cheap on eBay and Amazon, so um, it's hard to make any money on those. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, check the website for the videos and the products we sell for this car. Um, we definitely will have the USB, the auxiliary, and the microphone, and uh, probably the GPS. Uh, G uh, GPS and Sirius XM antenna adapters. All right, um, now, when you go over here, you see this air vent, there's a plastic, there's one, two, three holes here. On top of the top one, you can feel plastic air vent. You're gonna wanna go over that, okay? Now, I'm going to use the same um, zip tie we used before. This may not work the first time. did not work the first time. Let's try that again. So we're going to go over that air vent. There it goes. That one went nice and deep. All right. Now over here you can feel it. See me wiggling it around from the other side. I already have it. All right. Now, I always like doing this twice to show you guys that it wasn't luck. Obviously, you saw the first time it didn't go through. Because um, I, I forget which car it was. I think it was a. Uh, yeah, 02 to 08 Audi A4. I did a video running over the glove box, and it was says, There's no way you can do that. So, next time I did it, I'm like, Let me run it twice. So, what I did here is I cut two zip ties, I joined them into one. All right, now you can feel it. This is the end of the zip tie. Now you can see that. Can you see that? Can you see? So I still have one here. Well, technically, technically you can make it with one, but it would be really, really tight. Um, so do the same thing we did again. Tape it this way. Now I'm going to warn you. When you do it this way, be very, very careful because there is a lot of metal back there. Um, for you guys that don't want to do it the tricky way, like I said, if you do an idyllic master, you can go down below. Um, this is the microphone that we use for most of our microphones. I said it earlier, <laughs> a bunch of you Ford F-150 guys decided to get the F-250 mic and yelled at me because it was too short. So now everyone gets the long cable. Uh, for this truck, you actually needed the long cable. Um, now, if you wanted to, you can actually take out the cluster. Um, honestly, I think it's probably easier to go down below. This is the way I always do it because it's easier and it saves time. Slowly. Now, would you look at that? Did you have in here? <laughs> How is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> How's that microphone land right there? I swear to you, that's never happened to me before. It's hilarious. 
What do I do now? Right, so now we wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, there you go. So what do we do? I've never had that happen before. So I guess what we do here is we grab the end of the zip tie and push up. That's hilarious. Now this one, I gotta pull this back and forth. All right, let's just, you know what? I gotta do it anyway. Let's, seven millimeter. Let's just take this little piece off real quick. This will probably make everything a lot easier anyway. Like I said, this is my preference to run it up here. You can easily run it down below. So you see, this is what I mean by edits. I could easily edit this part out and be like, ta-da! But why? This happens. You know? I'm not perfect. Like, the will isn't perfect. Especially like installers. We work on so many different cars. My favorite story about installing once is I had these two girls here with a, I believe it was a Subaru. I don't remember hundred percent, but, oh, uh, two seven millimeter bolts up top. And one of you guys call me on a Sunday. Who calls on the Sunday after Christmas? Ooh. Okay, looks like this part comes up with this. bottom all right so this part's actually clipped into it so for a minute there I thought we had to take that out but no nope. some poor guy probably stuck in an install that wants me to help I've been in this business 20 years I think at this point I used to answer the phone calls on Saturdays and Sundays but then you realize you start losing your mind all right so there's nothing I disconnected that will trigger an airbag put down the emergency brake all right, pull this down. Now this can come off. Right now, you can see that you can easily push this back. And to be honest with you, this took two seconds and will probably make running this microphone wire a whole lot easier. So it's up to you. If you run into a jam, you can do it. I would recommend doing it only if that happens to you. All right. All right. Just turn that annoying sound off. All right, guys. So that's how you get the microphone down to the back of the radio cavity. Um, if you have a Pioneer radio, um, all of our microphones are 3.5 millimeter. Pioneer currently is the only brand that I know that uses a 3.5. Um, also, make sure you order it and do me a favor if you get to order it. A lot of ones we actually buy have the left and the right reversed. So when you go to use it, it doesn't work because you have left and right reversed. Okay, so if you we test them all and probably 20% of them are reversed. Um, so if you do forget, you can call us up and we can sell it to you separately, obviously. Um, check out our videos on the website. Also, I'll try to tag some on the end of this video. I usually don't do that. I'm a horrible YouTuber. Uh, I'm not even a YouTuber. I'm an installer that puts up YouTube videos. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a like. If you use it to run a microphone, uh, give me a like and tell me, hey, I use it to run my microphone. Appreciate the video. It helps us out because the more people that like and comment and interact with us, the more people that YouTube shows the channel for us, shows the, the channel and the videos too. So it's better for us all around. And uh, that's it. Uh, if you guys are a shop, we have wholesale accounts. Um, guys, this microphone is key. Also the USB. 
Uh, USB we have, we actually use a USB 3.0 from Molex, so it's actually high quality. It's not one of those cheap ones that you get from everybody else that ends up not working because it sucks. Um, also, that's it. Ship worldwide, wholesale accounts. We sell, we install, and uh, ship worldwide. My name is Christian. Do me a favor. If you like this video, give it a like. If you really like this kind of stuff, you can subscribe to the channel. If you really, 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 really like this stuff, you can actually sign up for notifications. So every single time we put up a video, um, it lets you know. Um, that's it. Enfit Car Stereo. My name is Christian. Thank you so much for watching.